our dog to go on a down using a bed, of course, we always start our training with some engagement. Yes! <laughs> I'll be using high value rewards. Roast beef, I have a clicker. Thank you. So I'm going to, all that I want to do at first, I mean, this is a dog bed, right? The reason why dog beds search work so well is what do dogs do in dog beds? Search. They get in and lie down. Search. So I'm just going to give a reinforcement for getting in. And now she's doing something different. So she gets one cookie for different. Search. And why does she want to SIT? Because I'm up here. So watch the difference when I get lower. Search. Boom. What does she offer? It's simple. Search. Doesn't always happen the way it's supposed to. Search. There we go. So what I want is for my dog to drop all in one motion with her belly and her, her ribs and her hips and her elbows all hitting at the same time. Search. It's fun. It's engaging for the dog. Good girl. So I'll feed her in the bed every now and again and I will reward her for leaving on the word search. Why do I want to do that? Because I want to reset her. She can't lie down unless she leaves. So I need her to leave. Search. The further away she goes, the more likely she'll have some enthusiasm when she comes back. Feed that and then search. Throw a cookie out. Good. So she's getting a little bit faster. At first she was walking back. Now she's trotting. Eventually she's going to run. I just know it. Search. Search. Good. So that one was a little bit more enthusiastic, so I'll give her a couple cookies for that one. Search. Notice that I say the word search before I throw. Good. All right. Now, what I need to do now is I'm going to test, will she stay in the bed? So I pretend throw. Good girl. And I feed her for that. You don't leave until I give you your word. Right now I'm throwing cookies, so the word is search. Eventually I won't be, so the word will be break. Yay! I can then say search. That was almost a mouthful of my, my cookies. Now, what I need to do now is I want her to offer that same down behavior. She knows the word. Search. With me standing up. So I'm going to transition by going part way. Nice. Good job. Search. Nice. So now she's going to offer the down. Why? Because it's been so heavily reinforced while I was sitting on the floor. Good job. Search. Now I'm going to move around. Good. I want to now be able to get her to lie down without the bed. So let's transition that. You can use a mattress. You can use a dog bed without sides. You can use a couch cushion. Same deal. You're just going to get her to offer the same behavior. Now, the nice thing about this dog bed is the easiest transition is I can just take that middle part out. Search. Different is bad. Different is very bad. Now you can see, she didn't come back as confidently as she did with the bed because something changed for her. Search. But that enthusiasm will come back pretty darn fast. Good girl. Search. Because it's a behavior that she knew. Nice. Now when you get the same dash, the same desire and accuracy, search. 
and speed, that's when I would be adding the cue. Getting a little better. Okay, so here's what it would look like. Just before she comes in, I'm going to say the word. Search. I know what she's going to do. Down. Good. So that's how you can introduce that word to your dog. Search. Down. Good. Okay, so now we can get her off of there. Break and see if she can do it without going on the bed. She's on there now, so we'll just give her one. Break, down, good. Now your dog might not transition that quickly. Search, what you can do is just get rid of that bed cushion. Down, nice, good job. And the same location where the dog just got a lot of cookies is the same location they're going to get more cookies. Down, good. And that's what we want. We want a dog that when we say the word, they're going to drop. You can test it, break, by doing something like this. Ready, down, search, nice. Just adding complexity, that's university. You're starting at kindergarten by asking your dog to do nothing. You're just going to kneel down, get them cookies for coming near the bed, search, toss, and build up until the dog automatically and happily offers you a down. There's no need to be pushing and popping and there shouldn't be a battle of wills or a battle, battle of anything when you're teaching a dog a down. It should just be something fun the dog loves to do and you build value for the word so anytime you say down, boom, they're just gonna wanna do it. And it doesn't matter what breed of dog you have. Down. It's the same thing, no matter what kind of dog you have. If you train it in a way that engages the dog, so it's their choice to go down, it's their choice to stay down, but you shape the criteria in a way that it's win-win. The dog loves what he's doing, and you get a dog that does exactly what you want when you want. It's a win-win, right? That's it. Leave me a comment, let me know how this goes for you and your dog.